Hello, this is Cass Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Last time, we went and learned White Wind, plus also did some stuff in Doma Castle here. This time around, though, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Just a little bit. And that thing involves... Well... <laughs> you'll see. It involves... Moogles! Ha ha ha! You have no long idea how long I've been waiting to get Mog on the world map. Moogles! Ha ha ha! But we're actually here for a specific reason. Mog, you see... By the way, we have a jump command. Check that out. But not right away. First, we need to do this. Uh, wait, what? Oh no, I'm doing it wrong. Okay. You see, here's the thing about Mog. Actually, we aren't going to see it this time, because this is just a freaking leaf bunny. But, Mog has dances, and he learns dances by finishing battles in new terrain types. For an instance, in a grassy field terrain type. Check, check, check it out. We got a new dance. Calls upon the power of wind to attack enemies and heal allies. Calls upon the power of darkness to attack enemies. And so on. We're going to collect most of his dances in this episode. Plus also, I want to show this off. Mog has Dragoon Boots! Which means he can jump. Because he uses spears. Mog, you see, is a he heavily defensive um, character. He's actually basically a Dragoon. And there's no way I couldn't give him the jump power. Although he's a Dragoon who dances, so you know, figure that one out. Our next stop is quite near here, assuming I can find it. Uh, yeah I can, it's right here. After the field comes the forest. So let's just find one quick battle. Any time now. As a quick. There we go. <laughs> you have no idea how happy it makes me to see Mog dance like that at the start of each battle. But yeah, the thing with the Drunk Command is, it only deals bonus damage if you have a spear. So, it's not worthwhile using unless you're using a character like Mog that has a spear. But if you are, it deals massive damage! And we got a new dance! Next stop is. Whoops, let's go inside. <clears throat> Next stop is. The desert. That wasn't very slow. That was pretty quick, however you want to say it. Ah, we're not in the desert yet! Die, rabbit! You don't belong in this world! This is Mog's world! Doesn't even give me any AP. Oi. But... But... If we fight something in the desert, we get another dance. And you'll notice I'm not actually using any of the dances right now. First of all, it's not really worthwhile because these battles are so quickly, but are so quick. But the thing with dances is, it actually once you start using dance, you're locked into using it for a while. So it actually can be risky to use it. Hmm. You need to use it in the right situations, in any case. Uh, where's next? Next is South Figaro. Or more specifically... No, that's not South Figaro. Or more specifically... Um... Here it is. The Cave! By South Figaro. 
because we- oh, no, that's not quite right. Wrong cave! Whoops. What we're looking for here is a cave where it's an outdoor segment. Which sounds a little weird saying it, but... Yeah, like this part here. A mountain, I guess you could say. Because it's a different terrain type than inside of a cave. And incidentally, you'll notice that we had a dance to start off with. Um, this one? We earned this dance by fighting in a cave right at the very beginning of the game, when Mog and the other Moogles came to help Locke and Terra. I did tell you that was important, didn't I? Uh, sorry about that. Just, oh I, my nose has been bothering me a little, just, whatever. Let's just, let's just fight a battle. Battle, come! Anytime now. Waiting. Hurry up. Faster. No, you're doing the opposite of faster. Anytime now. Come I know there's encounters in this screen. At least I'm pretty sure. I'm like 95% sure. Let, let's try going a little deeper. You see, if we find something in here, like this, this doesn't do us any good because we already have this dance. Uh, the dance for this terrain type, that is. Hmm. What we need is to be on this screen. And fight these assholes, because then we get the proper dance. Okay, next stop is... That one will be fun. You'll see when we get there. I mean, I have to walk out of here first, but... You know, whatever. A little padding never hurt anyone. I guess... Well, I say that, but truth be told... <laughs> less... I'm... Well... You know, whatever. Actually, no, I say that, but this is gonna be... Of the trio of longer-ish episodes, I mean shorter-ish episodes, this is probably going to be the longest by a fair margin. For a reason that will become clear not immediately, because we are not on that part yet. Unless you know all Mox dances, then you know why it'll be longer. <laughs> but we aren't there yet. Mm, where is it? We are looking for the place that is not other than... Zozo! Like so. Because this is yet another terrain type, and hey, it's a hill gigas. let's kill you quickly, because you're kind of, can kind of hurt me. I mean, I don't think you're a one-shot kill anymore, but you're still pretty- But you can still hurt a whole lot, if I let you. Oh hey, I got raised, cool. What did I even put on him? Bismarck, right? Yeah, Bismarck. Okay, that's maxed out, but you need more strength. As long as I'm looking. Death! Okay, do I have any other HP boosters, actually? I- I know I do. Mmm... Kirin? No. Siren. Okay, you have everything on that.
Right, anyway. Anyway, now it's time for the main event. This one is actually one a lot of people don't know about. If only, at least unless they looked it up. Because it's pretty obscure. And also, with... Let me think. As I say this, um... I'm gonna cut out that last thing because I don't actually just spoil something by accident. So when there's a big blank area where I sort of cut off or I'm not talking, that's what happened. Um, later in the game, this uh, terrain type is basically impossible to find. You would only find it in, I think, two or three battles. You, Maybe not in all in the original, but there is one or two s very specific situations where you can get it. Um, if you don't get it now, in this version, in, in added content, basically. But speaking generally, you need to do this other, well, yeah, pretty much you need to do this now if you want this dance. And this is going to be time consuming, like I said, because we're going into the Serpent Trench. Again. Why, why? Because... Well, I already told you. Why? It just doesn't seem right without, um... Sabin. Oh well. Mastered a new dance. Too bad I can't sh open my dance menu right now. Oh well. I don't actually know what a lot of the dances do, to be honest. I definitely don't know what this one does. I've never used it before. Because, as I said, usually I don't get Mog until later in the game after I've lost the opportunity to get this dance. But I'm getting it this time. Let's let's use a dance. Now we have all but one of them. Water Harmony is the one we got for down here. Uh, let's use Wind Rhapsody, because why not? Hmm. Incidentally, as the dances put Mog on automatic. Mog, much like Gao, is a good character to pair with Xian. In fact, you can make up, basically build a whole party that is everyone except for Xian is automatic, if you are so inclined. We weren't here before. It's the X potion we missed! Ha ha ha, I don't care, it's such an X potion. Let's keep going, I guess. Let us keep going. Attack! 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 Forest Nocturne! Hmm. Now if I can just hurry up and finish the server trench, because it's the next part that's going to take a while. Nope, not there yet. You know, why I'm even bothering? I'm killing these 
too early. Oh well. Don't worry, we're gonna get a chance to look at the dances more... greatly, I guess you could say? A little later on. Like, not this episode, probably. But... Well, next episode and the one after that? Sure. After we had finished th this sequence. Yeah, you see, I knew this would happen. I was saying this would be short, but... But if you look at the time, it's totally not. Well, if I look at the time anyway. You know what? I am just... Ah! Go, go! We're going to actually t run the chocobo this time as a time-saving measure. Okay, so it works just like an airship. Except we lose it if we dismount. Because here's the thing, now we need to go back to the belt. Because that's where the airship is. And fortunately they built a bridge here. But it's still a really long walk. That bridge wasn't there last time, by the way. Yeah. If we didn't have a chocobo, this would take forever. Especially with all the random encounters and just don't even get me started. Plus also, being on the chocobo it actually lets us skip over the uh, Phantom Forest, which we're going to need to go through. If we weren't on the chocobo, we would need to go through the forest, but since we're on one, we can go over it instead. And it'll save us a lot of time. Like, seriously, lots and lots and lots. Now then. Hey, it's Doma again! But we're going this way. Haha! <laughs> Sequence breaking! And now we're here, and all we need to do is jump into the waterfall and then walk over the veldt. So, let's just take the dive, so to speak. Jump! 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 And we're in the veld! And on that note, I'm going to leave off here as I start walking back towards my airship. So, until next time... This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Blue, and have a good day.